we can get started today. So my name is Adriana Roth, and a lot of you probably already know me because I've been teaching and in education for a long time, or you're working with me. And for the ones that you don't, I've been in the aesthetics industry for 10 years. I'm an educator, and I've also um, coached a lot of businesses on how to get to the next level, helping with marketing, advertisement, and um, just getting you to get out there and, and promote yourself. So we're gonna be here today with Sophia. She's our accounts manager. So a lot of you have probably spoken with her. Hi, Sophia. Hi, it's great to be here. I'm super excited for the webinar. Um, we do have a chat here ready. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll let Adriana know. Um, and just to let you all know as well, we are recording this webinar so that for anyone who was unable to make it, we can send it to them as well. So glad to be here and let's get started. Great, Sophia, thank you so much. So throughout the, the webinar, if you guys have questions, just drop a question on the, on the chat. Uh, we're gonna try to address some as we go, but also at the end, we'll have a discussion and then we can talk more about you know, any questions that you may have. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on fusion today and microneedling. So that's what we're gonna be doing. As you know, we also do a lot of education here. So if you guys need any training on microneedling, micro electroporation, we do have those classes. They average about five to $600. And um, it includes the kit, certification, all the support. So please let us know. We're happy to work with you guys in any way that we can. So let me share my screen with you guys right now. Um, let me go in here. Okay, very great. So here we are. So we're gonna be talking about our fusion mesotherapy. So I wanna talk to you not just about products. I wanna talk to you about a little bit of marketing, a little bit about selling, a, a little bit about procedure uh, because it's important that we understand this. So let's dive in. All right, let me just get there. Okay, so um, a lot of the questions that I usually have about mesotherapy and people cannot understand what it really means. So I think this is a good opening. Uh, mesotherapy means to deliver into the mesoderm. It comes from the Greek um, term and is to get into the dermis. So what we're going to do is get deep into the layers of the skin and we have different forms of delivery. So you hear a lot about um, injection, which is one form of delivery because we can get into the dermis. Um, number two is going to be microneedling. So we're going to use microchanneling using pens or um, AC touch also. And we're also going to have electroporation. So we he we're seeing here our expert device. And our expert device is what's called needle-free mesotherapy. So let's talk about needle-free mesotherapy a little bit. So what is the difference between using the pen or using the expert? That's another question that I get a lot. So with the pen, we are creating the channels, right, to deliver the formulations into the dermis using the needles. But in addition, we're creating a post-traumatic response of the body to produce collagen and elastin. So that is going um, to be one of the difference. With the expert, we are able to deliver those mesotherapy vials, the uh, formulations into the dermis without the needle. So it's called needle-free mesotherapy. And you will charge the same amount of money you charge for a microneedling treatment when you are using the needle-free, the electroporation. So you charge the same amount of money. The difference is that we're not having the puncturing of the skin and the damage. So it's great to use for people that are contraindicators that uh, probably have sensitive skin, inflammation, telangiectasia, acne, and we cannot puncture. So now you don't have to lose your client. Now you can say, listen, Miss Mary, we can do um, needle-free mesotherapy because we don't have to puncture the skin. Even older people, they have very thin skin and their nerves are very superficial, right? Because their epidermis is very sensitive, very thin. So their skin is sensitive and um, they don't really like the needles, even though we use the numbing cream. So this is very comfortable and we can still deliver. So how do we know that this is working and delivering? It's very easy. We have a clinical study that we can provide that shows delivery. We use Indian ink on the skin. We apply um, the formulation and we did expert for 20 minutes. And then we can show you how it was delivered into the deeper layers of the skin and how it went into the keratocytes, it went into the hair follicles. So a lot of our trichologists are using this device. 
And with everything that's happening with cross-contamination and bacteria and infections and illnesses, it's just great because we're not puncturing anyone's skin, but we're still delivering those products into the dermis. So now that's the difference between using the forms of delivery. And of course, injection is a little bit more targeted. And when we talk about mesotherapy, it's just going into the dermis. It's dermal and epidermal, so we can infuse these formulas. In USA, we are not approved for injection. In Europe, yes, all the formulas are injected. So here we're going to talk today about doing microneedling and using the expert device. So now you have two options for your clients and how you're gonna work on your menus, needle and needle-free mesotherapy. Okay, protocol. This is very important, sounds pretty basic, uh, but it really isn't because one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen, um, especially going to trade shows, I can see how uh, people just open any product and start applying on the skin and not making sure that it's sterile. So when we puncture in skin, we want to make sure that everything we're using is sterile from beginning to end. Because again, we are puncturing and it is a product that is designed to go inside the human body. So if we open, for example, a hyaluronic acid cream, um, let's just pretend this water here is a cream and it's closed, right? Once we open it, there is contamination and there is bacteria. When you have a sterile formulation, you don't have that and also that the product is not designed to go inside the human body. So I want you to keep in mind sterilization, that's really important. So some of the steps for microneedling and um, uh, this is from our corporate office in Spain. We work with fusion mesotherapy, of course, they're French and uh, corporate offices in Spain. And everything that we use is medical graded and it's at a level that um, it is, again, for doctors and that we're gonna make sure that we use that sterilization because we are in, respons in responsibility or taking responsibility for our client's health. So first we're gonna cleanse the skin very well and you're gonna have this in a, in a book. If you want, we can send you the Fusion book. You probably already have it if you're one of our accounts. The peeling is going to be um, to remove the dead cells. So you wanna make sure that we are removing dead cells to have a better and higher absorption of products. We use something called hyaluronic peel. We apply with a brush, five minutes, you remove it, all your dead cells are gone. Uh, disinfection, we want you to use alcohol 70%. And this is to disinfect the skin because again, we are puncturing and we're going into the skin. So use 70% alcohol, disinfection, always number one. Then we're going to apply, apply the product. So the mesotherapy cocktail that we're going to choose, we're going to have different cocktails and we're going to talk about these. And um, put a mask, a sterile mask. We don't want to put a peel off mask. We don't want to put a cream mask because we're going to have to remove it with water. And we're using medical graded formulations that are very effective and also are pricey. So we want to make sure that we don't clean the skin with water or we're using anything. So we have a mask called the miso mask that actually you put on the face. It's a cloth. It stays on the face for a few minutes with mesotherapy solutions. You remove it and then you can apply all your, your products after that. There's no, no need to, do, to use water. So what we want to do is go layering, right? We want to put more products into the skin. Uh, it also will help to calm the skin. You don't want your patient to leave irritated, inflamed. Uh, you want it to be comfortable because this way they're going to come back. The whole treatment should be very, very comfortable. Uh, we're also going to be using, so the mask is going to be sterile um, and we'll teach you how to do that as well. We, we have a class also that we teach step by step how to do that. And then your sterile cream. So we use something called Smart Mix and we're going to talk about that in a minute. And your cream should be sterile because again, we just puncture the skin. We don't want to put chemicals. You don't want to have a reaction. I always tell my students, you know, if you have um, and, and Sophia, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think we have some people on the, on the waiting room that want to come into the meeting. If you can please accept them. So um, we also want to make sure that there is no, no infection. We want to have the skin good because if, if you have as an esthetician per se, a reaction, somebody's allergic to, I don't know, green tea, and you have a reaction, you immediately remove the product, correct? And then you use water and everything. But what happens when it goes into the dermis? There's nothing you can do, right? We can't remove it. So make sure that everything that you're using is a sterile formulations designed to go inside the human body. So that's a very important part of the protocol and keeping the skin clean and disinfected. 
So now let's talk about some of the formulations. A lot of companies, a lot of professionals I see that microneedle with just hyaluronic acid across the board. So everyone gets hyaluronic, which hyaluronic is great, but um, what happens with the hyaluronic is that it's only going to add hydration to the skin and plumping effect, uh, for example, but it's not gonna do anything else. So if you're treating pigmentation, you wanna use a formulation that is going to just do that and treat the pigment, a cocktail. If you have someone that has um, laxity, then we wanna use a product that is gonna tighten the skin. So just keep in mind that just needling the skin and, and making the perforations are not going to treat, it's not gonna treat anything. It's gonna produce collagen because the body post-traumatic response is to make collagen and elastin and help the skin, but it's not gonna do anything else. Um, so that's what a lot of people are using, or sometimes I've seen where they don't use anything, and you know it's very hard because you want the, the, the pen to glide as you're working. So you want to use a product. So we're going to teach you with Fusion to get results. We have clinical studies on all these formulations that they are effective. Um, they are very sterile, so we use a, a we use a, a, a delivery when we do sterilization. There's a couple of things you can do. And hold on a second, let me just go in here. Just making sure, okay, then we have the people. So uh, there's a couple of things with the sterilizing the formulas. Some of the things uh, that are done is use uh, gamma rays. And gamma rays are effective and it's very cheap, but it really damages the mesotherapy and the actives in it. And the other way to do it is called microfiltration. Microfiltration is a little bit more expensive or a lot more expensive. And um, a lot of companies don't use it but this microfiltration system will not, would allow the product to be intact and the actives to be pure in its purest and active form. And that's why we see a lot of results with our formulations and we recommend that you use it one time and uh, then discard. So it's gonna be single use because it's very active, uh, especially our growth factors, we're gonna talk about that. And um, let me just click here. So we're gonna, the growth factors, especially about uh, growth factors because they have a lifespan. So we wanna use immediately. So we have a lot of products and this is what's gonna really um, do the results. If you are doing PRP as well, uh, with PRP, we have what's called the boosters. So you can actually add to that PRP and you can boost it up. So you can add vitamins, you can add amino acids, you can add um, antioxidants. So you can use these formulas as well. So you can use with microneedling, you can use with your PRP. I have used with dermaplaning because when I'm removing uh, stratum corneum, which we have about 18 to 23 layers, uh, we, I wanna put whatever is best that I have in my room. So I use my fusion formulas because I wanna put vitamins, amino acids, and then I apply uh, serums and everything else. So this is how we can use it. So let's dive into the products a little bit, but I wanted to explain to you the why. Why do we wanna use products? And they're all targeted for different things and why it's important that we, in order to get results, that we have um, access to these formulations. So let's talk about the first one. And if you guys can take notes, what I recommend is I'm going to tell you exactly what it does and you can put the name of the product and next to it what it does. You can drop on your, the chat, you can drop your email and let us know if you need a product book. We can email that to you and you can print it and have it in your room. That way, when you wanna work with a patient, if you're still not familiar with the formulas, you can go to that book and then you can find out exactly what it does, but you can always call us because we're here to, to help you and guide you. So XFC and XFC Plus. So when you, it, these are two different formulations, right? XFC and XFC Plus our multivitamin complex. So you can write this, it's an, I call it nutrition for the skin. Why? It has six minerals, 23 amino acids, 18 vitamins, coenzymes, taurine, glutathione, growth, um, net growth factors, let's stop there for a second. They all have, they both have in common, this mix of vitamins, amino acids, and, and antioxidants. The difference between the PLUS and the XFC, when you see a PLUS, that means that it has growth factors and hyaluronic acid. So when would I choose XFC or XFC plus? So XFC is gonna be a multivitamin for somebody that needs nutrition on the skin, maybe somebody younger. XFC plus will be older skin because now we have the growth factors and we have the hyaluronic that is going to plump the skin. So this is one of my favorites. I, I love it, I use it on me often. 
So it's, it's vitamins. And again, we are medical. So when you open our vials, it's pure vitamins and amino acids. You know, our chemists will drink it. And he said it could be, could be used in different ways. Don't do that. But it is vitamins. It's real vitamins and amino acids. So this is something that you can um, use as a multivitamin complex for your, for your patient. Uh, on the book, you're going to see right here, we see how to use. So it tells you electroporation, that's going to be with the expert. Fractional measles, it's when we talk about fractional, it's uh, uh, with needles. And transdermal delivery or other devices that you can use. And then it gives you the protocol of how many mLs and how much you're going to be using. And the treatments, we recommend the treatments to be every two weeks when you're doing microneedling. And then you can do maintenance after that. So you can do about three to five treatments every two weeks. When we're selling microneedling treatments or electroporation, don't sell one because they're not going to see a difference. They'll see a quick difference. But in order to really change the skin and promote collagen, you want to do a minimum of three. I always said a maximum of six. So sell them as a package, you know, and give them a good discount. Let's say you're selling for 200, but if you buy um, five or four, we're going to discount it, you know, 20%. So create packages and just tell them, you know, in order to get results, we need to do three treatments. So start selling these treatments. Don't be afraid. Don't think that people don't have money. That is an assumption that it's not real. A lot of people have money. And especially now, I know it's difficult. And a lot of estheticians, a lot of practices, even doctors have a hard time with the money part. So let's just ask for the sale and tell them exactly how many they're going to need. Don't just limit yourself to sell one. We want to get results. Okay, the next one we're having. Oh, here's a picture. So I want to show you a picture of our XFC plus that was used. So um, you want to see pictures from all over the world. We sell to 52 countries, and that's why we get all these pictures from uh, a lot of doctors and practitioners. So this was done two treatments with XFC, and one treatment with Mesomatrix. Mesomatrix, it's a formulation for scars and rebuilding skin. It also has growth factors, so they combine these and they have remarkable results. We haven't touched up any of these pictures. The way we get them, we share with you guys. So this is a great picture. Now we're going to talk about XFC plus phase. XFC plus phase is for skin tightening. And you can write this down, XFC plus phase is for skin tightening, DME, organic silicon, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic is going to give you that plumping effect, the hydration, DME is a tensor, organic silica is also great for um, laxity. So this is going to be your formula for skin tightening. And here we have a picture and we can see how we repair the skin. And we did four treatments with the lifting formulation. So we have more collagen production, uh, we see great results. So this is our before and after picture. Now let's talk about lift plus phase. So lift plus phase is the whole package, we call it. So this is growth factors. We also call it PRP in a bottle. This product is very interesting. So how do we have PRP in a bottle? So when we are withdrawing human blood to spin and get the, the plasma, what we want to do is get the growth factors, right? Because growth factors are going to um, increase uh, fibroblast uh, collagen production, is going to uh, regrow skin, is going to regenerate. So now we have these growth factors in a bottle for you. And the growth factors um, are lab created, so they are, they are safe, they're not human, especially again with what's going on right now. Um, it's very safe to use and it has a little longer lifespan. So now practitioners don't have to withdraw the blood, and now they have it in a bottle. We have a lot of practices, a lot of doctors that are buying this product is selling more and more because they don't want to go to where the blood withdrawal and, you know, all this spin, which is about 15 minutes more. Um, we cut it down. Now we have Miss Mary. We have growth factors in a bottle already made, uh, created in our, um, the company in Spain that we import. And this is going to work really well. Of course, human, it's always great because human is human, but this is an amazing alternative. Or also, when uh, your patient doesn't want to pay a lot of money for PRP, you can use this and charge a little bit less. So this is a great alternative. So this is your PRP in a bottle with growth factors. Here is a picture, and this was six treatments. We see remarkable results, and the texture of the skin is brighter, tighter, so it's, it's great. So that's what we call it, we call it the, the, the whole package. 
price is about 125 it comes up to 20 to 25 dollars a vial um, which is great because again you're charging 500 you're charging 300 dollars and you're getting great results and this was done with misopen and we have another picture from another model this was four treatments with leaf plus phase here is another one for the eye treatment amazing results three treatments with growth factors Let's talk about scarring, so Misomatrix. Misomatrix, it's a great product. Um, let me just go back, because this one back. Okay, Misomatrix. Misomatrix is a great product because this is for stretch marks and scars. I also have a couple of my um, students and, and clients that are using it for the wrinkles on the upper lip and they're getting great results. They've been sharing this with me. So Misomatrix is the only formula that's going to regenerate the skin. Um, so when you have a wrinkle or depression, there's two things you can do, right? You can fill it in with a filler, right? The rest of the line arm, or you can treat it and get the skin to regenerate. So Misomatrix is going to do just that. It's going to help to regenerate the skin. It's great for scars. So if you have somebody that had acne and you're treating them, once you finish, now you have something else to offer. Now, Miss Mary, we can offer microneedling for the scars and depressions and it gives you very good results. Here we have some pictures, and um, we have done a few people here as well. We do our own studies, and um, we get very good results. Here we have another picture, three treatments with uh, misomatrix with microneedling. So it's really, really repairing that skin that has been damaged. BTX. So what is BTX? Sounds like Botox, right? So this is an alternative to Botox. Botox is a neurotoxin, and what Botox does is going to paralyze the muscle and eventually causes muscle atrophy, but we love it, right? So we, a lot of people use Botox, and um, this is a good alternative for somebody who doesn't want it. So the difference is we use peptides. So instead of a toxin, neurotoxin, we're using peptides. What it's going to do instead of paralyzing the muscle is going to relax the muscle. So it's very different. So you still have movement, but less movement. So it's very relaxed. So you're going to see lines and fine wrinkles uh, less. So this is just for targeted areas. You're only going to use it in places where, we, where you would do um, Botox, right? So your globella, your marionette lines, uh, your 11s, this is what we're going to be using this formulation. And it works really, really well, especially the, the crossfit. It has very good results, the forehead. And it's alternative for somebody who does not want Botox. Or it could be in addition to Botox, it will prolong the life of Botox. So it can be used either way. And again, it's only for targeted areas. And here we have uh, pictures after three treatments. We see improvement. So the movement, as you can see, you know, on the first one, we have full movement. And by the third treatment, it's less. So there is no paralysis and atrophy. Uh, what we're seeing here is just a nice, relaxed muscle. Radiance. So what is radiance? Now we're gonna treat pigmentation and we are right on season, right? Right now, a lot of people are dealing with pigmentation after summer. So radiance is a cocktail. This cocktail has, um, Cogic acid, it has acylic acid, it has retinol, uh, growth factor. So what this is going to do is going to brighten and target the pigmentation, brighten the skin and, and target pigmentation. Uh, it's great. We recommend that they use uh, sun protection when we're doing these treatments. And I'm going to show you some of the results with radiance. So it's a cocktail. You notice that some of these formulations are cocktails. They're already made. They're ready to go. And you can use these. Um, these formulations uh, immediately in the skin and they're proven to work. If you decide to mix things, you know, remember we're not chemists, you can unbalance the product, the pH, the os osmotic balance, and it cannot be as effective. So we have the studies that show that they are effective the way we're giving it to you already cocktails. So please don't start adding things and mixing things because they work just fine for what we are promoting. Like right now we're promoting um, to work with skin that has pigmentation and have a, a lot of melanin production to brighten that pigmented skin. And let's see some pictures on radiance. Here we have um, great results. Four treatments with radiance and microneedling. 
Um, I also want to add that uh, something I've been doing here internally, it's using peel. So we have our exception line. If you're not using and want information, let us know about it, please. And we'll work with you with polyhydro um, polyhydroxy acids, uh, which work really well on the skin. And you can do a combination of peels. And then whatever is left at the end, we can do some microneedling with radiance. Or you can do either or, but that has worked for me. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, Melaclair. This one is a brand new product that just arrived and we had a lot of requests for a product that was exclusively to work on brown spots and melasma. So this is the product. This is not going to be used all over the face. This is only going to be used in targeted areas. So whatever there is hyperpigmentation, whatever we have um, the uh, melasma. So this is also going to be good as a, works as an inhibitor. So it's going to stop melanocyte activity. And this is really important and combined with the miso shield, they got to use the, uh, the sun protection with this formulation. So this is our new product, Melaclair. It just arrived maybe three weeks ago. So we have it in stock. Um, we're going to talk about eye contour. And eye contour is our second formulation for eyes. And this works very well for microcirculation. So any patients that you have with redness underneath the eyes, anybody that has um, darkness, you know, dark bags, the puffiness, uh, flaccid skin, dryness, this is going to work great. So it works together. And we have clinical studies that show after six weeks improvement. So you want to make sure you have a good assessment, right? That's important. And don't call me later and say, well, this is not working uh, because assessment is important. We want to see if they're having dark bags under the eyes. If this is coming from um, lack of mineral deficiency on, on minerals, if it's, if it's uh, hereditary, if it's coming from bone loss, because we start seeing hollowness on the eye area. So assessing why we're having this, this, um, this problem under the eyes and these dark circles, stress, lack of sleep, uh, also will determine if we can treat it and how we can treat it. So this is gonna be for um, wrinkles, fine lines, texture of the skin is gonna improve, and basically those dark circles and microcirculation. It works really, really well. Uh, so let's look at a picture here. Six treatments, one per week. I have some water. And um, this was what one of the doctors that, that from Ukraine. And we can see especially the texture of the skin, uh, the hollowness, it's a little plumpier. And uh, we can also see how it brightened the eye area. So this is a great, great study and great pictures. Um, let's, uh, Sophia, do we have uh, any questions so far? Um, yes, I do have a question from Svetlana um, okay. about a couple of them. I have Magistral. Um, can she use the expert with it or just for the body? Who's yeah, Magistral, we're going to talk about, yes, thank you, Sophia. Yeah, we're going to talk about body treatments, but yes, you can use uh, any of this formulation with the expert device. Uh, because it gets deeper into the cell. I actually asked this question earlier to the chemist, you know, what happens, what, or not the chemist, actually the trainer from Spain, and I asked what happens if we use expert, because when we're treating cellulite, we want to get to deeper areas where we have uh, fat, right, or fat deposits, and what he explained is it's going to work with the texture of the skin, so it's going to improve and it's going to look better. It's not quite working with the fatty tissue, it's working with the appearance of the skin, so yes, it would work. Okay, and I also have one, um, I'll leave the body ones for a little bit later, but um, for mesotherapy on the face or the body, can you do the same appointment with Botox or is it better to wait two weeks? Absolutely wait. Um, anytime that you're working with a medical practitioner or you're doing it yourself, I'm not sure if you're a doctor or an esthetician, uh, definitely wait uh, because he's going, and, and you're talking about, I'm sorry, Sophia, the BTX? Um, it doesn't say BTX, it just says, can you do mesotherapy face or body, the same appointment of Botox or wait two oh, weeks? Okay, so in general, yeah, wait two weeks. So you want to wait 14 days because you want to make sure that it sits in and it's, you know, it's doing what it's going to do. Remember, Botox is going to a deeper layer and that's going basically into your muscle. We are working with dermis and epidermis, but yes, you still want to wait because we don't want to move 
uh, the product. We just want to let it work and uh, be in its max potential. So thank you for that question. All right. Perfect. I'll leave the rest for the body treatments. All right. Great, great. So let's, let's keep, and again, any questions, please drop on the chat. Thank you, Sophia. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about perfect lips. Perfect lips. Um, it's a great formulation, but something I want you to understand, this is not to make your lips bigger because for that we use fillers, correct? So perfect lips is going to work with the health of the lip. So it's going to make them healthier. So it's going to make them more red. It's going to increase the color. Uh, the definition and is going to be very hydrated. So it's for the, the health of the lip because they do get dry. We, you know, neglect our lips a lot. So this is going to be a, a complex or a, a bio that is going to help with the high, with the hydration using hyaluronic and also with uh, increasing the lipid accumulation on the lips and making them look healthier, healthier and more red. So let me show you, I think we have a picture here. And here, this is exactly, so you're seeing this is not a volumizer per se, where they're going to have bigger lips. If your patient is looking for that, then we're looking into fillers. So explain to them it's healthier. I always say juicier because they look very juicy. Juicier, healthier, and more red. So this is actually for the health of the lip, which is interesting. Results, um, act, well, actually, this was done apparently with an injection um from a doctor in europe again you know here we're not approved for injection but they do there so it looks like this is an injection but yeah you can microneedle and actually the chem is recommended to do expert will work better microneedle will work as well but expert will work even better because we are driving into the lip um, into the dermis more of the product so it will work very well or you can do a combination of both of both it would work fantastic um, if you want to work also with lines above the lip, like I said, miso matrix will be good. So you can combine this. It will be great. Okay, here is another picture, one treatment. And yeah, I think this was also one ML. So it looks like it was an injection. Um, I don't think we have microneedling, but the one before is more of the look that you're going to achieve when you're microneedling. ACN. So ACN is a great formulation for acne. I love these because hands down, it works fantastic. Um, I always struggle treating um, acne because I couldn't find formulations that will work well. They will over dry the skin, they will be inflamed. So with ACN, um, obviously we're not gonna microneedle. Uh, the way I've used, it, I've used this before is after extractions, I had put ACN um, on the skin. And also I try to sell this, you know, fusion is not for sale, it's not for retail. But in cases like these, I will sell one ampule and they can apply topical on the face until they see me again and this controls the oil. Not only it has salicylic, so I have Canadian willow herb, which is a natural form of salicylic, but it also has uh, retinol, but it has vitamin B2, 5, and 6. These are great anti-inflammatories. So what I noticed is not only bacteria uh, was being controlled, but inflammation will go down tremendously. And um, I did uh, this treatment on a patient that had diabetes, metal implants on the face, uh, just, just a lot of contraindicators. And I honestly cure her with ACN and cold compresses after distractions and using that at home and she got great results. So this is a great formula for acne. Here we have a picture, three treatments of ACN. And I'm assuming this was electroporation because you can use that. So there's no needles, there is no, otherwise microneedling will spread that bacteria. So anytime there is bacteria, it's a no, it's a contraindication to microneedling. Okay, let me see the next. Here we have pictures for ACN, fantastic results. Four treatments. I'm telling you, it works wonders and not because I represent the company because I even use it on my own daughters <laughs> and I get great results. I trust them so much because this company really is result driven. I get a lot of calls, you know, I'm getting great results. Your brand just works fantastic. And again, we also work with a medical board that is on our website and they're constantly doing studies. So we are going to continue to do more webinars to keep you up to date on everything because remember everything in Europe takes about two years to get here. And because, you know, FDA and, and everything. So we always try to get you all the newest um, trends and information and treatments. 
So let's talk about FHA and FHA plus. So FHA and FHA plus is our hyaluronic acid. This is great for plumping and hydrating the skin. So your FHA is a 1.8 Dalton, that's the molecular weight, and your FHA plus is 2.6. It's not cross-linked because cross link is a hyaluronic that has a really big molecule and the body cannot process. So for example, the fillers, right? You put a filler and that hyaluronic cannot be absorbed uh, by the body. So it takes six, seven months in order for the body to absorb. So that's why we use those fillers, right? non cross link you have a very um, a good absorption, hydration of the tissue, and it does give you some plumping. I have used this for people that have sensitive skin, people that have acne and uh, advanced, and I had to do a lot of extractions to help with the healing. Um, my daughter some, that got burned with a flat iron also applied on her skin and it helped heal. So hyaluronic is very healing and very hydrating. So we can use this also to create creams and serums. Um, and we'll talk about that with the Smart Mix. We can create creams and serums to use after microneedling. Um, so that will be our FHA. And here we have a picture, one treatment with FHA plus. So uh, I always said, I'm honest with you guys and I, I've always be transparent. This was not microneedling. What I'm seeing here was injection in Europe. So yeah, it can be injected in Europe. They do injections, it plumps, it stays about two weeks. So it's a nice um, treatment for someone who doesn't know what their lips are gonna look like or um, you know, how it's gonna look with the filler. And it does help, you know, it enhances, but we, we're gonna use microneedling here and we're gonna use electroporation and it works really well. So we're gonna do it that way. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about antioxidants. So antioxidant is a formulation that helps, um, it's actually with uh, brightening the skin. So it has glutathione, which is the most powerful antioxidant that we can have. And it, ha it has vitamin C, in Europe, and not in Europe, in Asia, because I went to, to South Korea, uh, glutathione is well used for brightening the skin, so it gives you a nice glow. So the difference between radiance per se and antioxidant, radiance targets pigmentation, antioxidant just brightens the skin. Somebody that needs to get that glow, this, this is what it's going to do. It's great because it works with radicals. Somebody that's a smoker is going to work really well. So this is great, great product. Um, to be used for brightening of the skin. Melaclair is more for melasma, right? For more targeted. So I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, here we have some pictures from antioxidant. And uh, we see uh, brighten, bright, they do have pigmentation, brighter skin. So it's gonna brighten the skin. And we have good results. So this says two treatments of FHA. So they did hyaluronic acid. So they added a lot of hydration. If you look in this picture here, um, and this one here, we can see the hydration of the skin and they also did the antioxidants. So we're seeing that they did some injection, but trust me with microneedling, you'll get pretty much the same results. Just do a series of treatments. Uh, FHA Ultra, one of our newest products also, FHA Ultra is deep hydration, ultra hydration, but it has growth factors. So it's going to do two things. Is going to hydrate the skin very well, but it's also going to do an intensive wrinkle correction. So what a great, great product. Uh, it works fantastic. So deep um, hydration and wrinkle correction. Uh, slim Fit. This is very interesting. And um, Slim Fit, it's a new formula. We just got it three weeks ago. I just got trained on this. It's going to be used for fat reduction of the face. And I thought it was so interesting because I asked what well, meaning is injection. They said, absolutely not. It works better when it's microneedle because the fatty tissue on the face is not the same as the body, right? And they are working on the clinical studies right now and it's going to reduce the volume of the fat on the face, so face sculpting. And face sculpting is really big, um, especially countries like Korea and, and in Europe, people wanna have the slim, face, they don't want to have the fat. I don't know why, because, you know, when you get to my age, I have to pay to put fillers and recover the fat. So, but well, you know, it's a trend and, and people just want to have the sculpting of the face. So you can microneedle this product and help with the volume, whatever there is fat to do um, a little bit of face, facial sculpturing. 
And we're gonna start a study here actually um, pretty soon. We're waiting because our patient had a little bit of acne. So we're waiting to have that under control. And we're gonna start doing our study with the Slim Fit. So it's a great product and um, a great addition, something that we needed. Hydrolix is also for um, hydration, but the way this one works, it has the hyaluronic acid and it has lactic acid. Um, it's also going to help to remove a little bit of dead cells. So it does a little bit of exfoliation through this exfoliation. It all, with the hyaluronic, it creates hydration. So it's a different form of delivery, but we're also delivering hydration. Um, here are some pictures before and after with one treatment of hydraulics. So very hydrated, plump, right? Because we have the hyaluronic acid, very hydrated, very plumped. Uh, when we do microneedling and large pores will tend to look better you know they don't revert because they don't move pores don't open and close they can't move they don't have movement they don't have muscles but what happens when we increase uh collagen and we increase um the hydration they're less noticeable so we can see here great improvement of those those pores all right venous stem uh venous stem is a formulation that is going to work for people that have telangiectasia that have um, sensitive skin, that have irritation, inflammation, flushing of the skin, uh, rosacea, basically patients that have rosacea. So any redness, inflammation is going to calm the skin down. So uh, we have used it. And again, you wanna use this with expert with not microneedling people that have telangiectasia because it is a contraindication, but we can definitely use expert and we can help to reduce that redness inflammation and those dilated uh, blood vessels. Here we have a picture with venous stem, so we can see how uh, inflammation is going down, redness, and the skin comes dramatically. So this is a great, a good uh, formulation to have. Here we have another picture, fantastic results. You can see how all the swelling, the redness. So when the skin is inflamed, uh, we also get, when we have inflammation, people that have RA, this will be fantastic. People that have immune system, that have um, um, anything that causes inflammation to the body, this is going to work fantastic because when the body's inflamed and we have those blood vessels, they dilate, right? And the skin gets inflamed too. So this is going to really help the skin um, to be at a more healthy level. All right, so Sophia, uh, any more questions about face? We're gonna talk about the body. This is exciting. Um, yes, well with Svetlana, I was actually incorrect on the question, so I'm gonna say it again. Um, she okay. asked if she injects someone, say an example with adipose less or magistral in the abdomen, are they still able to get Botox or fillers in the, on the face in the same day? Okay, so the face, well, first of all, I don't know if you are um, in Europe and you're watching this or you're in USA. Again, keep in mind that we're not approved here in the United States for injection. So if you are um, somewhere where you can, then uh, one thing has nothing to do with the other because the, the, um, the face and the, the body are completely separately. We're not injecting in the same area. But me personally, um, I never like to do two things at the same time, just because if the patient has a reaction, God forbid, we don't know if it was the Botox, we don't know if it was Magestral, we don't know what it was. When um, we teach doctors here as well, we train a lot of doctors in different modalities, we always tell them, you know, don't mix everything because if we have reactions, we want to be able to know and say, okay, you know, I use um, Magestral or I use this formulation, so for for that reason, I would just wait, get your Botox, get your fillers, because maybe someone who's never gotten Botox before and can have a, an allergy. And, um, you know, we don't, we don't want to do both at the same time. Let's see what, if they don't develop any allergies, then after that, yes, you can do both at the same time. I hope that answers your question. Um, yes, and then with the Magistral as well, um, I know you were speaking about using the expert or if it's better to do injections or mesotherapy. Um, so I'm not sure if you want to answer that now or when we go to the slide. Okay, so basically when we're talking about body, that's a good question as well. Um, when we talk about cellulite, cellulite, it's fatty tissue, it's adipose tissue, right? And that's going to be very deep. It's not superficial. 
So we want to get to those areas. The best thing for that, you know, for the countries that do injections, um, it could be injected in directly into that fatty tissue, like the XBC body, for example. But if um, we want to work with the texture of the skin, then we're just going to do more superficial, like a Celorg or any of the skin tightening uh, products to help with that. Um, and I hope that answers the question. Any other questions, Sophia? Um, at the moment, those are the only questions. Okay. So let's talk about body. So for the ones that said, well, I don't really do body. I'm going to get out of this webinar. I don't really care for it. Um, and then others are really excited about it. Let me explain something to you. Our business is seasonal. So when uh, winter comes, we have everyone. It's very busy. You know, the holidays, everyone wants peelings. Everybody uh, wants resurfacing. Everybody wants fillers, Botox, you know, microneedling because the holidays are coming and we're very busy. But when that season ends and summer comes around, our industry slows down tremendously. And the reason that is, is because people don't want to do facial treatments because they're in the sun, they're outside, so they don't want to do any type of, of treatments. So the great thing about doing body is that you're not, when you're slow for facial, now you can offer something else. Now you can start working on the body because everybody wants to have that figure for summer. So this will be a great time. Uh, January plus everyone wants to have the perfect body, right? So January is a great time to start advertising because summer is around the corner. You know, time goes so fast. Start advertising body treatments. So what can we do? We can do cavitation. Cavitation is a great, great treatment. Uh, I did it for many years in a doctor's office and um, it worked out great because we, um, I used to do maybe seven to eight people. We charged $250. I made 50% of that. So I made 125. It's a treatment that takes one hour, but I mastered it and I used to do it in 40 minutes. So I was taking home a thousand dollars a day. Not only that, and it's a true story, not only that, but um, this is something you don't sell one treatment, they have to buy six. So when I took a patient for cavitation, I knew for six weeks I had secure $125 from her every week and that was fantastic. Imagine when you have five or six. So you can do that, you can do cellulite treatments, you can do radio frequency, um, so you can do that as well for cellulite. Uh, you can treat scars. I've treated my scars uh, as well. I had C-section for my babies and I treated with microneedling because, you know, I do wear bathing suits and I'm like, oh, you know, I could, it's still there, you know, even though people can see it, I knew it was still there and it bothered me. So I work on that and with Misometrix and I got fantastic results. I also, fibroblast is also fantastic. Fibroblast I did on my stretch marks and I have to tell you guys, it worked fantastic. I struggled with stretch marks for years and I tried everything and microneedling did help and it gives you about a 50% 50, 50 improvement, uh, but they were still there. And we did two sessions of fibroblasting and it, I was very impressed. They're almost gone. I'm actually doing another one and um, it looks great. So I'm gonna see if I can post my pictures. If you guys wanna go on Facebook and you wanna add us, um, it's AW Advanced Professionals. It's a private group for only professionals that work with us. And I'm going to share these pictures because I was very impressed. And I think finally we had found something that would work and a combination with microneedling and fibroblasting. So all these treatments that you can offer to your clients and increase your revenue. So don't get discouraged for body treatments because it does make money and is great addition to your practice. So let's talk about protocol. It's the same thing, you disinfect, uh, alcohol 70%, and then you start doing the microneedling. We have a mask that you can use, sterile cream and the um, mask. We do a mask and a, and a moisturizer. So pretty much the same as the face. So let's talk about that. So we have XBC here. XBC is our number one formulation for cellulite. Uh, with fat, there's two things you can do. You can destroy fat, which we use something called uh, phosphatidylcholine or dioxycholate. These are formulations that will completely destroy fatty tissue. So we're talking about Kybella that works fantastic. Or you can shrink those fat cells and that's carnitine. That's what it would do. So XVC body is going to help to shrink all those fat cells. It works really well, but it's going to improve the texture of the skin. So it's going to be less visible. And this works really well. Uh, it's a cocktail proven or ready to work. 
And um, I've had it done a couple of times because of course I do everything that I have here and um, to experience it. And I definitely saw the improvement on my skin. It was not as noticeable. So this is your XBC. Uh, Magestron, so Magestron and XBC are both for cellulite. And you know, I'm not going so in depth. If you have more questions, let me know. I just wanna give you the information that you need in order to work because you can read this and you know for that we will need a webinar you can read it at home so i just want to tell you exactly how it works magistral is for heavy legs it's for drainage so it can work with the cellulite but it's also going to drain you know when they have all that water puffiness on the cellulite or cellulite that is it doesn't have uh, i'm sorry water and there is cellulite that you can see a lot of edema. So this is going to work well for that. So that's the difference between one of the other. Magestral is more for drainage and your XBC is going to be more for cellulite. Um, hair protocol. So we have, and you know, on the body, um, there's something I wanted to add. So on the body, you can use the mesomatrix that we talk for the face. You can use for the body, for the stretch marks. And you can use, we have something called Silorc, for some reason it's not in this PowerPoint, but Silorc is also for skin tightening and for stretch marks. So, so those are some of the formulations. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about hair. Any questions on the body, Sophia? Nope, we're all good here. Okay, good, good. Um, so scalp disinfection and hair protocol. And Sophia, if you can come on for a second, I wanna ask you some questions because Sophia talks about, with all of our accounts and hair protocol. So what are some of the questions or, or things that you get from our clients about hair? Because people are very insecure, I feel, when it comes to hair. So what are some of the most common questions? I would say uh, one question I do get a lot is, do I shampoo my client's hair when they come there? Do I have them do it before? Um, I also get different type of hair um, hair losses, how they can treat it, if it's better with microneedling or needle-free. Um, okay. And then I have to- One by one. Uh, <laughs> the, the first one I want to address is, yes, your client should wash their hair and not use hairspray, not use treatments, just shampoo and clean scalp because we're going to work on, on the clean hair. So yes. Second question was? Um, the second question was for the different types of hair loss. Is it better to do microneedling or needle free? Okay, so they both work well. We have clinical studies with microneedling that we can share with you. I'm not sure if they're in those PowerPoint, but if not, you can request them and it tells you the protocol. If you're interested in hair, hair is a specialty, guys. This is not something you learn in a month or two or in a day or two, I'm sorry, this is something you go to school, trichology is about a year, you know, dermatology, some of them specialize on hair. Um, there are some courses that are very advanced. Uh, I know Dr. Bauman has a, a course in Boca Raton, it's about 7,000. So this is a, a, a specialty, it's not something that you're gonna learn because assessment is important, understanding the stages of the hair. And that was the other question, right, Sophia, about the, the hair, what was the question? The stages? Yeah, the it's, assessment is a big one. Um, I would definitely say because a lot of people aren't familiar with the hair, even trichologists, you know, with the scalp is technically skin and then you have the hair. So it's like a mixture of how to treat it. Okay, thank you, Sophia. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, with the with the with the uh, with the scalp and the assessment, that is so important. And again, I'm not a hair specialist. I've taken a lot of training because we have the the, the hair formulations. But this is something you can add. So some people are saying, oh, you know, I don't really care for hair. But the more things you can add to your menu, the better it is. Promote it as a multivitamin. Um, revitalization treatment, not as a hair grow if you don't understand it. Because assessing, we have to make sure there's a hair follicle. If there's no hair follicle, nothing's going to grow. It's like a plant, right? We have seeds, they'll grow. If there are no seeds, we're not going to grow anything. So that that's important too, having a healthy scalp. If your scalp is healthy and hydrated, that hair is going to stay better, right? Otherwise, that hair is going to come up. And the assessment, um, you know, to know really what is going on and why are we experiencing the hair loss. Um, I give you an example. I have a, a lady that came in here. She told me she had stress. I saw the bald spots. I said, oh yeah, absolutely, we can help you. You know, again, what would I know? But it seemed like we could help them. And this was when we first started promoting the brand. And I'm like, yeah, we can help you. When the doctor saw her that works here, he says, no, we can't because what she has she has burns when she did keratin or some type of hair treatment 
he had burned her scalp. So that's when she's not growing hair. There's not going to be any growth. I realized, okay, assessment is really important. You have to really understand and see, you have to see baby hair, you have to see the scalp, you have to understand all of these in order to do treatments. So let's advertise it as a vitamin complex for the hair. Women, we need that on the scalp. I have trichologists, I have cosmetologists, I have, um, yeah, estheticians as well, nurses and doctors, of course, that are using the formulation. So if you are a doctor, of course, you can microneedle, you can do all these treatments, and uh, we have the protocols. You can use expert, trichologists are using expert because expert is driving that product into the hair follicle. Okay, so, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. So it's gonna drive the product. So we wanna disinfect the scalp. Clients should wash their hair prior to treatment, come into the office, clean with alcohol 70%, apply the formulation, and then start microneedling or doing expert, and then you apply a sterile cream that we create. So that is the protocol for the hair. Um, we have here some information on our formula. So we have two formulas. Our hair formulation um, is, uh, and it says right here to uh, revitalize the hair and restore the microcirculation is going to hair to, to have those follicles healthier. It's gonna help with the thinning of the hair. So if you can, um, you can do it at home also. Just open your scalp, you know, if you're a professional and um, start treating your, your scalp and start seeing, taking pictures before or after. I always say, do not treat your own uh, body, face or hair because we tend to be aggressive and not know very well, uh, but you do your own clinical study. So you can use hair formulation. It's about, I think it's like 50 or $60. And this is just going to be to make the hair stronger. Uh, but we have the hair men formulation and hair men formulation. It's also used for women. But what that is going to do is going to help to grow hair for alopecia. So if you're a hair expert, um, we work with a trichology and it works really, really well for hair. We can see here a protocol uh, before and after. I think this was in UK. And um, they did napash, so it's like a microneedling. Um, they did six times with 2.5 ml of fusion and we can see the starting point and we can see the ending point. So it does work. And if you want to specialize in hair or you are already I heard specialists use our formula. By far, it works fantastic. It has growth factors in it. And it also, um, the formulation has a patent formula that works stronger than monoxidol three times. So it's very, very patent. Hair men is the formulation that I was telling you about. So hair is for um, multivitamin complex. Hair men is for androgenic alopecia. Different, uh, and it has growth factors. It also inhibits um, the um, hormones, uh, DHT, that are going to, um, to that all impact the hair grow. And it also has biotin, so it's going to really help in different ways and with the growth factor. So this is a great formulation to regrow the skin. It can be used with electroporation, with needling uh, on the scalp. And you can also use it, um, we have something called essential lotion. It's a lotion you can customize. You can put one of these formulas in it. I'll show you in a second. And they can massage at home to do as, as a maintenance treatment. Um, here we have pictures. So this was Dr. Rapkin. Dr. Rapkin is a doctor in New York that had worked with our formulations. He did this study on his own because he worked with a lot of celebrities. He wanted to make sure that this works before he uh, promoted, excuse me, let me get some water. Okay, I'm sure you guys are having coffee and relaxing and enjoying your, your day. So we, um, we used it, he did the study on his own and he sent it to us to share the results. This was 10 treatments. And also remember with hair, you gotta do at least 10 treatments to see results. If you do less, it, it takes about 10 weeks in order for hair to grow. So it's important that you complete those treatments. One treatment, two treatments, that's not gonna work. When it comes to hair, we need to do a minimum of 10 treatments. Uh, here is also from Dr. Rapkin. We see great results. And I have a lot of nurses that come here and bring pictures of their clients. I just had a cosmetologist that works with us and brought pictures and it looked fantastic of how much hair is, uh, is growing on his clients. So it works fantastic. And if you need more training, cause I'm just giving you basic information. If you need more training or wanna, you can send us, drop on the chat your email and tell us what you need because we also can send you a video and we can send you a list of products and a protocol so you can learn more in depth. So we'll send that information to you if you're interested in learning more about hair formulations. 
Any questions, Sophia? Since we're gonna move really quick to the skincare, I don't wanna bore you guys. No questions at the moment. No questions, okay. Good, good. So we're going to talk about the skincare. Um, why? Well, I don't really want to sell skincare. Well, you know, we don't need it. Of course you do, because it's 30% what we do in the room is 70% of the products they use at home. It's very important that they have a home regimen. If you are microneedling the skin, you're puncturing and you're sending them home and they're just going to buy X product from the store that is not even designed to work with what we're doing, you're not going to see improvement. You're going to see very little improvement. If they use the products that work in, 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 in synergy with what we're doing, they're gonna get very good results. So Fusion Miso created all the post-procedure, pre and post-procedure products. Uh, not only that, but you can retail. So right now, retail is huge. We increase sales dramatically by, I would say 70% with retail right now. People used to buy one or two sunblocks. We're getting orders of 60 and 70 some blocks at the same time because people are buying so if you don't have an e-commerce website this is the time to think about doing that uh shopify is very friendly it's great i can use it you know anybody can use it if i can use it anybody else can use it because i always had uh, a little bit of challenge with technology so it's very it works very very well you can look into it it's not that expensive uh, once you get it set up, um, because if you're going to promote these, where, where aren't they going to buy it? We don't sell on eBay. We don't sell on Amazon, only professionals. So your client is going to have to come back to you and place those orders when they run out of products. So think about that. If you need help, I'd be happy to assist you as well and give you some information. I'm actually going to start working with the company. Um, and I told them that. I said, I think that my clients need help creating their website. They need help with marketing. And we're going to try to put that together. Of course, we're not going to charge you anything. I always say your success is my success or our success because it's a team of people that I work with. So let's start thinking about retailing and selling those products. When you have a product, you buy, right? I've been buying my same product for two years, for one year. That's money, it's passive income that's going to be coming through your door. In order to be profitable, you should sell the same amount of pro in products as the treatment. Let's keep that in mind. And for results. So let's talk about a little bit, then I'm gonna go very quick on these because these are products. And again, I don't wanna overwhelm you, but it's important. Deep cleanser doesn't foam, preparing the skin to just cleanse the skin. You massage for three minutes, remove with water. So it's a 250 ml, I think it's like $15. It's very affordable. Hyaluronic peel, this is for cabin use, only for back bar. And this is going to be the one that removes your dead cells and preps the skin for procedures. Five minutes, apply with a brush, remove with water, all dead cells come off in a healthy way, no scrubbing, no, no damaging of the epidermis. Essential lotion. So essential lotion is a customizable product. You can actually customize this lotion and make it into anything you want. It doesn't have anything, no actives. It's just a base hyaluronic acid. It has a really nice texture. You can add any miso formulation. So all the ones that we talk about, let's say you add 10 ml of radiance, you just turn it into a lotion for pigmentation. You add ACN, you just turn it into a lotion for acne. You add the multivitamin, now it's a multivitamin lotion. So it's a great product. They can use this product at home. You can also make a hair formulation. They can massage their scalp. You can do a body formulation as well uh, for skin tightening. So, you know, sky's the limit. And your cost, I believe, is either $13 or $15. So this you can sell very well and your client, your patient is gonna to have to come back to, the, uh, to you for the formulation because this is not sold anywhere. It's a customizable product, sell very well. Uh, essential cream is the same thing. If you see on the bottle, it says, um, let me see if they change it. I don't think it's, uh, it used to say PRP, but you can actually add PRP, human PRP, because it's compatible because of the pH. So you can add human PRP to this formulation and make it into a PRP cream. And that's really exciting. Oh, it says here how to use progressively with a spatula, you use this solution, any solution or PRP. On the cream, we're only gonna use five ml. So if you wanna make it into a cream for pigmentation, then you add radiance, cream for acne, you add uh, ACN, or you wanna do human PRP, you must refrigerate it and it's good for two weeks. Now they have a PRP cream. So if you're, you're doing PRP, it's a great seller. 
I think your cost is about $23. I have accounts that are retailing my highs, my lowest. I like to say that I heard of 80, my highest 150, of course, plastic surgeon. So you can sell it for anything you want. It's a customizable product and uh, they have to come back to you for the formulation. Miso Lift Cream. Uh, these are already created for you, loaded with growth factors, folic acid. This is going to be a lifting cream. So it's going to give you that nice lifting because it has the growth factor. So this is just um, for that, miso lifting cream. We have clinical studies that show reduction of wrinkles, 38%, and the hydration increasing in two weeks, 50%. So I welcome you to try it on yourself uh, for two weeks and see remarkable results. Miso repair. This is exactly what it is, a repair cream. You can use for people uh, after aggressive procedures, uh, skin that has uh, rosacea or is sensitive or inflamed, anything that has to do with repair, this is going to work. Um, it's good for erythema, any type of inflammation, tenagrestasia, so this is gonna calm the skin down. We do have clinical studies that reduce um, erythema 37% after 24 hours. And 52% after 48 hours. So it's great for inflammation, great for people that have reactive skin. Hyaluronic drops, number one seller. Uh, we're out of stock very often because people completely love this product. It's water encapsulated in oil and um, it's pure hyaluronic and hydration. It also creates plumping of the skin. So it's going to create a nice plumping of the, the face um, number one, hands down, I use it on my hands. And uh, if you have it in your practice, have a tester. I apply one hand and then the other hand without it. And I show my clients and everybody loves it. It's like, wow, you know, the, the difference is, is great. So it works really good. Radiance Cream is our new product. It's for pigmentation. It was just created. We just got it two weeks ago. So we're excited about this product. I have not used it here, obviously. Uh, but I do, I did open it because we have testers and it smells fantastic. They all have now a little bit of scent that comes from essential oil. So it's healthy and in a small amount that is not harmful for the skin. But people now want to have a little bit of the smell, the fragrance. So we have put that now in our new products. Uh, probiotic cream. And this is uh, for bacteria. So good bacteria killing bad bacteria, correct? Uh, this one can be also good for rosacea. It could work really well. Uh, people that have um, acne um, can work. It's also brand new. It came out two or three weeks ago. Um, it, it feels really good. It restores the skin. It's very nurturing for the skin, so it works well. And uh, right now, some of the new trends we have is probiotics, and we also have anti-pollution, which we have a lot of products on our exception line. So that's the new trend here or in Europe. Now, Miso Shield, this is going to be our sunblock. So most of your clients or patients will say, well, I'm already buying, you know, from X store, from the pharmacy, uh, and I have my own. Well, the difference is they have, those that you buy at the store, they have salicylics, and they're very harmful for the skin. This one particularly is SPF 50. It has um, protection for UV and UVB rays, so it's going to be very protecting. It's also plant-based, and it's very healthy and sterile. So it's not going to create any type of reaction on the skin. So it's very safe. And you can use after microneedling because it's a sterile formulation, the pump, the way it's creating. And it's also resisting to water and to sweat. It penetrates very well. It works with sensitive skin and it works fantastic. If you are using our miso shield, uh, actually our all day shield from exception, I just want to add that the difference between miso shield from fusion and all day shield from exception is that all day shield has ferulic acid that is going to inhibit melanin production. So remember, all of our exception line is for brightening of the skin. It's gonna get the skin to be bright. And on the miso shield, it's just going to be for procedures like microneedling and it doesn't have the brightening effect. Um, any questions, Sophia? Um, yes, I do have a question. Let me see. One was about the essential cream and private labeling. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that one. Okay, we don't, well, I'll tell you what, we, we don't private label, they say we do, but we really don't because they want like $10,000, uh, 10,000 units of each product. So in reality, it's like they don't really do private labeling. 
Uh, if you wanted to private label something, um, if you wanted to take our essential lotion, they already come with a, what do you call it, with a label. And, um, you know, it's not meant to be a private label, but it just says essential. So you can name it and you can tell your client is my essential cream from, you know, uh, whatever the name of your spa is, you know, AW, for example, for me, this is our AW essential cream. So that's what we put just a generic name. So you can call it that if you want in your, in your menus, uh, but we don't private label. Oh, okay. they do, but they want 10,000 of each. Anybody? Thank you. And then last question, I did have someone ask as well, if you could talk a little bit on exception, on our exception line. Yeah, I will definitely do that at the end briefly. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, so let me finish this presentation. That way, whoever chooses to stay and wants to hear about it is welcome. If you, you know, are done and you have to go back to work, of course, we understand that. We want to be mindful about your time. Um, so the, uh, we're going to move to the white, uh, the ice sorbet. The ice sorbet, um, it's, it has an effect of um, the removing wrinkles and dark bags, and I have used it. So the consistency is um, like um, silicone. Now, something I didn't say at the beginning that I want to share is all of our fusion post-procedure products are made with crosslink hyaluronic. Remember, we talk about crosslink and not crosslink. Crosslink is the one using fillers. So this is a very good point for selling. People want and love fillers, and this is why it plumps. Everything on this line plumps because it has the crosslink hyaluronic. I have not heard of a line yet in USA that is making products with crosslink. So I think we're probably the first one yet. And we're happy to have this. So this is for the eyes. The clinical study shows wrinkle reduction 38% and increased moisturization or hydration in two weeks. Um, so it's going to help with dark bags. It has uh, the hyaluronic, of course. It has growth factors. It's going to plump the skin. It's refreshing for the eyes. And you will see results. H a deep filler, that's our second after the hyaluronic drops bestseller. This is an interesting product. And Sophia was using it on her face. Sophia, I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> she was <laughs> using it on her face. And she kept saying that her face, her cheeks were bigger and bigger. And she wanted to try to have more definition on her face. And actually, we're going to try the new slim fit on her. And she wanted to, to know, you know, why. And I'm thinking, okay, she's becoming obsessed with this. And why she so every day was more obsessed over her face. We talked to one of her clients. So, Sophia, you can tell the story. Oh, yeah. I was speaking to a client on the phone who actually loves this product as well as me. I use it every day. And surprisingly, um, I struggle with rosacea a little bit. So this has been helping, which is why I was using it, not really for any wrinkles. Um, but I was speaking with the client and she's like, you know, um, I had to stop using it because my cheeks started looking like muffins. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, so it actually, I guess it builds up over time. The more you use it, it'll start to build up in the skin. And I'm like, maybe that's why my cheeks feel so big randomly. I was applying it all over my face. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have to get Botox. And I actually also tried it on the lips. She let me know she tried it on the lips and I saw really good results. I All right, it. thank you, Sophia. Mm -hmm. So that was it. So I'm thinking she's becoming obsessed and it really works. So it is plumping as you use it. As a matter of fact, I just took two home for my neck and my face after this story when she told me the other day. And it's going to give you a plumping effect just like the hyaluronic drops and all the other products that is going to continue to build. So fine wrinkles and lines will be less noticeable, will start disappearing. Um, so try this, and I also have rosacea, and I did try for rosacea, and it worked really well. Um, it, I stopped using my Metrogel because I was using this product, and it was, it was interesting. So these are Sophia's lips, actually. I'm talking about you again. So she did this just to show, because when our client, um, I forgot her name. Anyways, uh, Luencia. When she called us and we talked to her, then she did the test to see if what she was saying, you know, was we're not, not we didn't believe her, but we wanted to make sure that, you know, what she was saying was correct. And we put it on the lips and this is immediately. She showed me and then I did the same thing. And of course it plumped. So it's going to plump your face. So it's great for wrinkles. It's not, it's not meant for lips, but we wanted to share this picture with you. Two minutes she put here. Okay. Retinol, new product just came out, Retinol 1.0. It's a pretty strong. 
Uh, it's going to be used exactly as the doctor prescription. You don't want them to use it every day. They want to use it two to three times a week for a period of 10 to 15 days. Um, you can try to see how the patient does. You can increase if you need to, or you can decrease the use depending on their sensitivity. So this is selling very well. So now you have an, a good stabilized pure retinol at 1%, it's a 1.0. Hyaluronic cryo mask, this is a cooling mask. We did not retail masks before, now we are. And, uh, and when I say we, I'm talking about professionals, not uh, AW per se. But you guys can now, because after COVID, everybody's buying masks, so now it became a retail product. So cryo mask uh, brings the skin temperature two degrees lower and it's very soothing and it can be kept in the refrigerator. So this is a very good uh, moisturizer, uh, moisturizer and cooling agent. Sleeping mask serves very well. Um, you can actually sell this to your client. Your cost is only $18, I think, and you apply on the face and sleep with it. And it's going to help to really hydrate and nourish the skin. It also has growth factors and folic acid, so it works fantastic. They can use on the neck, they can use on the face, and I always thought, hey, why not the hands? Anything you use on the face, put extra on your hands because trust me, we need it. Okay, PPC cream. Um, we're almost done with the presentation, PPC cream. It's new cream, so for the ones that uh, have been with us for a long time, we used to carry the PPC formulation for inject, uh, not for injection, for microneedle. It was more for injection in Europe. For fat, we don't have that anymore because again, we don't inject in the United States. So what we did is we created a cream. It's a PPC cream, it's a cream that has a transdermal ability with carnitine and caffeine to get to fatty deposits. And yes, my same question was like, well, how is this really going to work? Does it work? Well, the first thing they told me is after two weeks, you will see, in, you will see improvement, four to six weeks final improvement. And it has a patent technology that allows to penetrate transdermally into the fatty tissue. So I welcome you to try it on yourself. I'm trying it on me now. Uh, but we, uh, I actually had someone here use it and we do see already results. So it works great. So this is like a magic that we have now for the body treatments we can sell for cellulite, the PPC cream, and it works really well. Um, we have new products that are coming soon. So then the good thing with our company is that we're not trying to create products. We want to sell you, of course, we want to sell, but that's not that we're not aiming for that. We talk about innovation. People get very tired of the same things over and over. If you don't make change in your practice, they're gonna go somewhere else. They're gonna try new products in another place. When you have constant improvement and new products, they get excited. And this helps you to market on your spa or medical office, start marketing those products and showing people that, hey, you know, we're always coming out with new things. Um, hyaluronic moisturizer, it's just that, a hyaluronic moisturizer that is gonna be coming soon. We don't have it yet. Um, this is a formulation for the body. It's going to be the same as, as for firming and lifting. Um, we had one for the face, so it's going to be for firming and lifting of the body. Um, it hasn't been out yet, so we're excited to see it and see how it works, mainly for laxity of the body. Uh, we have muscle factor we're not going to talk about because this is not in the United States available because obviously it's an injectable, not here. Muscle fit, the same thing, so I'm going to skip that. So uh, we come to the end of the presentation, and um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I've tried to make it as fun and not too long because, you know, I know people get tired and want to get you bored. Um, we want to offer you, we have an offer for you today for attending this webinar. Anybody that orders today until midnight, over 200, so 200, I thought it's, it's just a, a good number. It's not a lot. Uh, you can place an order of 200 and you're going to get a free training. So you can choose either micro needling or needle free misotherapy that is valued at $500. And this is what we teach here. So we teach this class. And uh, the, free miso, the needle free misotherapy is more just geared towards needle free, if you don't understand that concept. The micro needling has both, but it touches just a little bit on needle free misotherapy, it's mainly micro needling. So it's the class that we teach here and we charge for it. So we want to give it to you complimentary for being part of this webinar today. And we are very thankful. And Sylvia, we can see you, there you are, we can see you. So we wanna offer that to you as a thank you for participating and for being with us today. I'm gonna stop this here. So just place your order. And when you place your order, you're going to get a link 
with the um, access to this webinar. So you can go ahead and, and learn more about microneedling and more about needle-free mesotherapy. Sophia, do we have any questions? Oh, I cannot hear you. I think your, your microphone. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're still getting with the technology here. I know I should be good at this, but now I'm just sending emails to some of our clients here, um, but I don't have any questions. Okay, so if anyone has questions, let me know. And uh, about, um, uh, and, and if you have questions, Sophia, you'll be working with the account, so you can email info at awstheticktraining.com and any questions you'll be able to address. We're not chemists and we get a lot of questions sometimes that are chemistry related, but we are here to help and we'll find the answers and we'll email our corporate office and we'll get you the answers that you need. Um, so I'm just gonna briefly talk about exception and um, you know, for the ones that are interesting, just a little introduction uh, is the same chemist who created fission, so we know it works, is a great formulation. So now the new peels should not peel, that's the new thing, right? Um, and let me just get a picture of my skin here, give me one second. I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this, but um, we can always improvise. And we are family. You know, I always consider you guys my family because we work together and we help each other out. So we have the skin here, right? This is a block of the skin. So when we did peels before, we used to put an acid on the face, a glycolic and salicylic, whatever it was, and it used to burn the whole epidermis, right? So when the epidermis was burned, it will come off. And we will have our dermis, which is right here. We look from here to here is our dermis, exposed to sun damage and environmental damage. And that's why we were not successful because we were just removing layers, but we're not treating where the, the pigment is, which is your superficial dermis, your melanocytes. We're not inhibiting, we're not treating, we're not doing anything. So the skin will come off and they come back and their skin is worse. Not only that, because of course now it's very exposed, right? So there's no protection. Not only that, but it became very thin. And you probably have a lot of patients that you can see through the skin. If you start seeing capillaries and you start seeing this area, that means your epidermis is very thin or it's gone from all the peels and you know everything that we have done to the skin. So that's why you start seeing this. So it only makes sense to keep your epidermis strong. Every time I go to Europe and we get trained, it's all about keeping the epidermis strong and not removing it because that's what's gonna protect the skin. And I know in USA, we were taught about removing and removing, we're not gonna remove anything. We wanna keep it very strong, very strong and very healthy to protect the skin, especially people older that are aging. We have uh, noticed a lot of um, thinning of the skin and very sensitive and overworked and pigmentation was still there. So they were very unhappy. So now we're using, instead of, having a, a, a glycolic, a strong acid in a bottle and throwing it on your face and burning, now we have blends. We use peptides, we use hyaluronic acid. We have a blend that's very protective of the skin and we use something called polyhydroxy acids. It's the new generation of peels. The dermatologist newsletter two years ago um, posted this and said, you know, the new peels should not peel or burn or damage the skin. So what our peels will do is they're going to target those areas, those melanocytes, and inside the skin without damaging the outside and creating hydration. So how does this work? Because people wonder, you know, how is it going to hydrate? We use something called carboxy, and if you're familiar with carboxy, carboxy um, helps a lot with oxygenation. So we neutralize our peels with carboxy, and carboxy calls hemoglobin that has a lot of oxygen. So it creates a nice oxygenation of the skin. So when we finish the peels, uh, we're just gonna see a very hydrated skin and very glowy and very healthy. So those are the peels that we have, and we'll be happy to train you if you're interested. We had a webinar not too long ago, but I'll be happy to put another webinar because I didn't record it because, you know, again, technology, I'm still trying to get with this. I'm like, oh gosh, now I'm going to do it all over again. But it's good because if you haven't attended, I'm going to do one again. And we're going to talk about pigmentation. We're going to talk about peels. And we're going to talk about um, just learning the percentages. So our percentages on exception, our peels are anywhere from um, 8% up to 60%. And our pH is under three. 
So what happens is you can do a 60% um, acid with a 2% pH and there's no burning, there's no stinging and there's no damage of the skin. Sounds crazy, right? But it works really, really well. So we will talk about, I'll create a webinar about that. If you want more information, give us your email. We'll send you an email with a product book. We have a lot of pre and post procedures. So we work with pH. And this is also interesting about pH because you're here in clinic. A lot of the brands are talking about pH now because if your skin is too oily, right? If the pH is too high or too low, your skin is gonna to be too dry or too um, oily. So now working with the pH of the skin, we can lower it. If you lower the pH, the peel will penetrate better. So we prep the skin with, with exception. We have preps, which we never learned that here in the United States. So it only makes sense to prep the skin, exfoliate a little bit, lower the pH to three, but also we wanna stop melanocyte activity because we don't want the skin to create more pigmentation because we're gonna suppress that so we can remove what we're working with without making more melanin, it makes totally sense, right? So we have two products that will prepare the skin and get it ready for the peels one week, then we do the peel. And after you do the peel, then it only makes sense to bring that pH back up to a five or a six. So we have post-procedure products that will balance the pH again. So we work with the pH, we work with carboxy, and we work uh, protecting the epidermis. So it's a very, very interesting concept. The first time I was trained, um, I was blown away by the training because I never learned that here. And I was, I never felt comfortable doing peels because I never learned it the right way. So that makes sense. And I'm sure you can relate to me on that. So that, that was the problem that I didn't understand them. I, they just tell you glycolic is for uh, pigmentation, salicylic for acne, and lactic for hydration, and here are 10 bottles of acids, and now you can start working with the person. So they don't really explain the anatomy of it, and this is a new concept. It works very well, so if you're interested, I will put a webinar in two weeks together. We'll send you information, connect with us on Facebook as well, also Instagram, because we're posting everything, and, and they're coming out. Uh, I talked to the chemists. They're coming out with another 15 products in January, so keeping up with the marketing, keeping up with the trainings, you know, it's always work, but it's always exciting. So always um, pass this on to your clients. We have sales that we send every Friday that we get from our corporate office. So if you're getting our e-blast or just sign up on our uh, website, get our emails because we have sales constantly and give that to your clients. So it's not for you to save money and put it in your pocket, okay, if that sounds great. But what we want you to do is we want you to, if we give you a 10% or a 20%, you do that with your clients. You offer them and extend that 20%. So we're creating that for you as well. And the last thing, marketing and advertisement, uh, we do have, if you want also drop your email, Sophia will send you um, an email that we have that has marketing for exception and fusion. Just make sure you open each one of them. And we, are, we had created posts for you that you can do. They're beautiful state-of-the-art videos. You see it on my Facebook. And all you have to do is copy and paste and send to your, to your database. Uh, make sure you have a lot of followers, make sure you have a lot of friends on Facebook, but start using these materials, um, these videos, and start posting because it's gonna drive a lot of attention. And if you need help, again, let us know, we'll help you because I was sitting on your same chair. I always was very challenged by marketing and I had to get involved and now with COVID, uh, everything is online and this is how we have exposure. So let's utilize this, these forms that we have, these channels, these funnels, and it's all created. And if you want it even easier, just go on the AW page and just forward and put your title and forward we already created. Why reinvent the wheel if it's already created? So I wanna thank you today for your time. Do we have any questions, Sophia, or before we leave? No questions. No questions. Well, it was so good having you. Thank you, Sophia, for helping us today and being in this webinar. And it was great having you. Let's go out there. Let's get excited about our career. Let's start selling marketing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just do it. It's called trial and error. We got to try, see what works, what doesn't work. Don't get discouraged. If it didn't work, I always say, okay, it's an elimination process. Now that's out. That doesn't work. We'll try something else. That's the way businesses are. And we're here to help. And we thank you for your ongoing support and for being part of our family because we're here together in this and we're going to succeed and we're going to do very well. Thank you and have an amazing day. Thank you everyone. Stay safe. Thank you, Sophia. Mm -hmm.